A few days ago, LG showed off its transparent displays at an event hosted at the Guggenheim Museum in New York. The event celebrated LG and Guggenheim's new joint initiative to research, honor, and promote artists working at the intersection of art and technology. And while the collaboration is certainly a great step towards bridging art and new technology, we at Android Authority are more curious about the latter. I'm Harley Moreno with Android Authority, and in this video, we are going to be talking about what LG is doing with its transparent OLED displays in 2022, touching on how far the tech has come and where it may be going in the future. To start, it's worth briefly exploring the history of LG's transparent display. LG announced its first transparent OLEDs back as far as 2019. The company's first integration of the technology has primarily been in the commercial space, starting with transparent OLED signage rather than, let's say, a TV for your home. Since 2019, LG has used annual tech events such as CES and ISE to show off what their transparent displays can offer, especially in commercialized spaces. For example, one of LG's biggest selling points is the ability to display products behind its transparent screens while having the ability to show product information in a visually striking manner. The company has also showcased the display in other settings, such as in a restaurant, in a museum, in a bedroom via a height-adjustable OLED smart bed, and even in transit. Back in 2020, LG confirmed that its transparent OLED screens would be available on some subway trains in Beijing and Shenzhen. This tech would then give riders access to useful information right on the subway windows, such as real-time train schedules and transfers, as well as updates on weather, news, and flights. So you're probably thinking, wow, LG seems to have really made a lot of progress with its transparent display tech. Where can I buy one? Well, this is where the story gets a little bit complicated. As far as we know, LG only offers one model of transparent OLED display for sale, the LG 55 EW 5G V. It's a 55-inch OLED 1080p display with 38% transparency and 400 nits brightness. It features an anti-shattered tempered glass that protects the display from external impacts, and the panel can be tiled with several other displays according to the client's needs. If you want to read the full specs for the model I just mentioned, we've linked to LG's official website in the description below. Now, before you decide to click that Add to Cart button, you need to understand right now that this display is not cheap. And after some research, a singular 55-inch panel is going to run you over 15,000 US dollars. The display is not even technically meant for consumers. Right now, LG is still marketing this tech under its business solutions division, which goes to show that the display really isn't meant for the public yet. And why is that? Well, as you've probably guessed, it's extremely difficult to manufacture transparent OLED displays. And beyond that, there just isn't a high enough demand for transparent displays. And so there's no way to justify scaling up production on technology that is really still in its infancy. So if you're like me, watching Iron Man use his transparent LG phone from 2010, wondering, when can I get one? The answer is, not anytime soon. Because getting this tech out to the public is gonna take some time and some Tony Stark level of engineering to accomplish. In the meantime, LG is looking to create demand for its transparent OLEDs among businesses. If you look at the company's marketing, such as in their website and brochures, you can see that LG is trying to make a case for its displays. They present the display in places like a hotel, an office, and even outside a store. While it's a bit upsetting that we can't currently get our hands on the display, it is nice to see LG really push for this innovative piece of tech. But what do you think of LG's transparent display? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's just a gimmick or do you think it's the future? Would you like to get your hands on one? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload next. And for the latest and greatest in tech, be sure to visit us at androidauthority.com. I'm Harley Moranen, and I'll see you in the next video.